Hi, this is Meghnath. In this module, we will learn how to write a for loop and how we can write different programs using a for loop. Let's get started. Now to understand this, let's take, a, I have a requirement, a basic requirement to print hello five times. Now, let me open notepad, my requirement one. So I have a small requirement Let's assume that I want to print hello. I want to print hello five times. Okay, now let's see how we can do this. Let's go to code blocks and remember this is um, lecture 11 and let's do this. Open empty file and uh, save it. And I'm giving this as 11 dot hello five times dot C. Now if, if let's assume that we don't have the concept of for loops we'll be writing like this include stdio.h let me increase the font size and I'll write here include conivo.h void main and we'll write like this printf slash n hello slash n is for the new line so now I'll copy and paste it so let's copy this or let's copy till here control C control V control V control V control V so we're done so last we'll write get CH but this code looks a duplicate code so in case if I want to change it let's take my client side I want to change H to small case I have to change in all the places so I have to change like this so that's the disadvantage of a duplicate code so now if you want to do repetitive tasks like this the best way to do it is using loops it can be a for loop, it can be a while loop, or it can be a do while loop. Now, let's say this. I'll save this and I will build it. And there are no errors, no warnings, and let me execute this. So you can see here, we're getting um, hello five times. And because I've used slash and so it, you're not seeing in the first line output. So first it's going to the next line and it's printing hello. So we are seeing in five lines because of the slash ends. Okay, that's fine, we got it. But the problem with this code is it's a duplicate code. So for repetitive tasks, we have to use a loop. Now let's try to understand how we can change this code. So imagine we want to print 100 times. It's practically difficult to write printf 100 times. So it's not suggested. So in this case, we can go for a loop. So let's see how we can do it. Now, I'll declare a variable int i. And for i is equal to 1, starting from 1, i less than or equal to 5, i plus plus, and I'll write here printf hello now in this case let's explain I'll explain how a loop works so let's say this now so this is a general syntax for a for loop so we have only one statement in the for loop so you don't have to put flower brackets here so if you have multiple statements you have to put flower brackets so in this case let me explain how this works so this is a general syntax for initialization condition and this is called increment or decrement so in this case we are incrementing it so how this really works is first initialization will happen and then it will check with the condition so if the condition is satisfied it will execute the statements inside the for loop and then it will come here and it will increment the value so i value becomes 2 so again condition is satisfied 2 less than or equal to 5 hello 3 less than or equal to 5 hello 4 less than or equal to 5 hello and 5 less than or equal to 5 once again hello and when i value becomes 6 6 less than or equal to 5 the condition fails and it will stop so that's how a loop works that's how a for loop works and let's say this now i will save it and i will build it and let's run the code so you can see here it's printing the same line 5 times hello and if you want to print in the next line, all you have to do is you just need to use slash n. So now let's save it and build it and let's run the code. So you can see here it's printing hello five times. Now, now what we will do is, now I prepared a small presentation to illustrate how actually a for loop works. So let's say this now. Now if, let's go to the presentation mode. I can see here so first initialization will happen and then it will check for the condition and then 
it will come to the statements. So remember, initialization will happen only once in the for loop, right? So first initialization, like i equal to 1, i equal to 2, or whatever we write inside the for loop, that will happen first and check for the condition. And then statements will be executed. After the statements are executed, it will go for increment or decrement. And then it will again check for the condition. If the condition is satisfied, so these statements will continue uh, loop through this, continuously uh, loop through. And when the condition fails, it will stop. This is a general syntax, a general flow, how a for loop works. So this is the example that we have seen. For i equal to 1, i less than or equal to 5, i plus plus, it's printing hello 5 times. Now what we'll do is, not only this, let's take I want to print uh, numbers from 1 to 10. So what we have to do in this case is, I want to print numbers from 1 to 10. Right, let's say this. For i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to 10, i plus plus. And you can write here, you can put flower brackets and it's not required for one statement. So printf, you can write here percentile d slash n comma i. So in this case, first i value is 1, it'll print 1. i value becomes 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up to 10, it'll be printing. When i value becomes 11, condition fails and it'll not print. Let's save it. Let's build it. Let's run the code can see here it's printing 1 to 10. Now what we'll do is we'll try to understand how to print a multiplication table. Now let me open notepad. Now if we want to print the multiplication table like this 5 into 1 is equal to 5, 5 into 2 is equal to 10, 5 into 3 is equal to 15 like this we want to print sorry 5 into 3 is equal to 15 and so on, we want to print up to 5 into 10 is equal to 50. So this is called a multiplication table. So what we need to do is, so we'll take a variable for this. This is called n. So this is called n value. And this is called i value. i value 1, i value 2, i value 3, i value 4, 5, 6, 7. So i value will be, this is i value from 1 to 10. And this is a product. Now, now what we'll do is, I will declare a value n is equal to 5 because we want to print multiplication table of 5 i is equal to 1 to 10 and in this case we need to be very careful so what we need to print so we need to print like this n into i is equal to n star i so what we can do here is we can write percentile d into 5 ones are so percentile d is equal to percentile d now in, in place of first percentile d, we want to print n value. So n, that's 5. In place of second percentile d, we want to print i value. So we'll put here i. And in the last one, we want to print the product of n and i. So I'll write here n star i. Now we have to use slash n so that output will, next line will print like this. That's it. So we have written a simple code to print multiplication table of a number. In this case, it's 5. So let's save it and let's build it and let's run the code. Now you can see here it's printing the value multiplication table. So here we are printing n value because here we are printing n value. Here we are printing i value and here we are printing n star i. That's the product. So now, now, now what we will do is Let's try to read the number from the user. So here we assigned it as 5, but I want to read it from the user. So we can do like this. Printf, enter any number. And then I'll write here scanf, percentile d, and comma, and percent n. And I don't have to initialize now because I'm reading from the user. So let's save it, and build it, and let's run the code. Now I'm entering 6. You can see it's printing 6 multiplication table. So like this you can read a number from the user and print the respective multiplication table and we just learned how to use a for loop. Now I'll write here 10. So you can see it's printing multiplication table of 10. Okay. So the point to note here is that these three are statements. Initialization and condition and increment or decrement. Okay. So with that 
So we will jump to the next module. And in the next module, we will see how to use a while loop. Thank you. Hope you are clear. And before before we um, so there's a program for multiplication table. So I will change it. So so um, file save as save the file as. So this is eleventh one. And here I'll put here multiplication table. <coughs> now I'll open the file. Open file. Where is that one? So f file, open, and hello five times. So I think this is not hello five times, right? I'll just change it. So uh, int i for i is equal to one, i less than or equal to five, i plus plus, and printf hello, and slash n. So we are clear with how to write simple. So as usual, I'm just, um, I'll just upload these two programs in GitHub so you can download it. And once you're done, so I'm typing here completed and go to this GitHub and let me click on upload files and select both the files that we have, that I have illustrated in this uh, lecture, right? So hello five times dot C and multiplication table, click open and now click on commit changes. So in case if you want to get download the files, all you have to do is this is the URL. So here is a URL that you can use it. So all you have to do is you need to type like this https colon slash slash github.com slash megnat slash c. So this is a URL that you have to type to download the files that I've illustrated in this module. So I hope you are clear with how to write for loop and um, see you in the next module. Thank you.